Hey guys and welcome back. The major is really really close and you know what it means. Uh, there are some pickems and obviously some stickers. In this video I just want to share my predictions why I think certain teams will win and go through and also we're gonna open some uh, sticker capsules here. Um, just a short video what I think and why I think that and yeah just a simple video for you guys maybe to get a 3-0 and uh, your world to the diamond coin with me. So um First team, in my opinion, I'm gonna go through it as I go with you guys. Uh, the first team, I think, let's start with the O3. The O3 out of all those teams also have the HLTB popped up here. Um, honestly, like in my eyes, uh, IHC, I don't think they stand a chance against any of the teams here. Now, I know they did beat Renegades. Um, let's just see the score line. They beat Tyloo as well. They beat Renegades. <clears throat> yeah, the games weren't really close, but I really doubt with such little international experience that they're going to replicate that same, uh, same result. I do believe they also are playing, yeah, they're playing Astralis in the first match. I don't really see them winning any match. Uh, in the challenger stage so for me IHC would be the O3 pick um, now let's go through the the 3 0 pick let's uh, let's see who plays who first because it's also a big uh, a big tell of who's going to basically uh, advance so complexity vitality a top game DNE and eternal fire fire top game. I do think that Ants have a really good chance here. I think that Ants are in a strong form. As you guys can see, they just qualified to uh, the Blast Premier uh, Fall Showdown, whatever it is, um, the stage. Uh, they have a pretty good run here, the Pugel uh, anti raf uh, like the first one in Pro League as well. They're on a good streak right now. Everybody there is hitting their shots. Everybody there is... Uh, basically on fire uh, the other team which I will be thinking of to go 3-0 would be Outsiders they're also having uh, quite a good run here um, in terms of matches they also had a pretty good run just against a bit of a less strong opposition in my opinion um, and Pro League as well but again I do still think that Ants currently is in the best form out of all the teams here individually specifically so i think the individual play will play a major factor i think that the uh, 3-0 is is ants basically uh unless somehow i get uh i don't know surprise or whatever but uh generally usually they have a lot of good events and a good streak of events and then they fall down a bit but i do believe like they're worked hard for this moment and they're going to, to capitalize on it. They're playing really good counter strike right now. Um, the other team already said that. I think that Outsiders will go through. Uh, it's a no-brainer for me. One of the strongest teams on the lineup. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty obvious, but I'd say that if they don't go through, it will be an upset. Um, for the next team, I, I was actually thinking who, like now it becomes very, very, very difficult. Um, I would say that Bad News Eagles are going to go through. I'd say that they are going to go through. As you guys can see, uh, they had a pretty good run as of late. Playing against high level opposition. This game honestly should have been theirs. Um, I mean, they had a really good run everywhere they played. They played against G2, NIP, and Tropic. Every, every game was close. They are just that close to go through. Uh, well, to win against those top level oppositions and I do think that they're a very young team and they do have a high high chance and I, I do believe in them I do believe in them I believe in in the aim that they have I think that that's a big factor and I think that that can be enough for them to pull through um, so yeah I want to believe in them they're a strong squad and yeah I, 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 I want them to go through uh, generally um, the next one, the next one is tricky. 
I was thinking about fours actually. I was looking at their the recent streak in a way we can call it like that. The way that they played, they played really well against most of the teams, OG especially. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the match. They lost to Navi in the second RMR. Games weren't that close, but they did have a shake advanced season, whatever. But I do think against stronger opposition, they're actually playing better. And there's no Navi or Heroic level teams here. Uh, I think it'll be rough. It'll be like a 3-2, uh, maybe a 3-1. But I think that they're gonna go through. Those two are my lottery picks. We can say it, uh, call it that way. Um, the second, hold on a second, the fourth team, I think. Oh, th this, this becomes rough. You guys doing it with me, basically. I'm, I'm going, I'm doing it as we go. I didn't really think of it that much. G2 are kind of a dark horse for me. You know that they're, they're not really, I don't know how to explain it. They're not really as strong yet. Not as people expected. But I guess, I guess I do have goodish results um, against good teams still. They're shaky, but the level of opposition this challenger stage is a bit lower. So I'd say G2, with their skill, especially Nico and Monesi, they can pull through. Um, I think that Astralis, definitely Astralis for me. Astralis is getting better. Um, I don't know if you guys seen any of their last games. Astralis is getting better, even the tense match, it was super, super close throughout and throughout other first map, but it was super, super close. Uh, NIP are shaky right now, so I'm not really looking into it. Movie Star are really strong, Heat are strong. They lost to G2 and players, they beat Ants. I do think that Astralis are just getting better with the addition of uh, Farley. So Astralis for me, they will go through, in my opinion. Now here is where it gets tricky, because Vitality does have Zaiwu, but their results weren't the best as of yet, like to the lineup that they uh, that they upgraded to, we can call it like that. They did beat, have close games. They have two more teams, so I need to think about it straight. I don't think Spirit is going to go through. Let, let's think of who's not going to go through. 9z not gonna go through liquid they might depending on their form but they did uh, lose to pain low pain and playing really good um renegades i don't think they're going through complexity as much as they're my boys and i like them and all the love for them and congratulations for the stickers and everything but i don't think they go through i, I don't think they're going all three but i don't think they go through spirit no, I don't think they're gonna go through either. Their performance hasn't been the most convincing yet. Uh, Imperial for me is a hard no. I don't think they're gonna go through no matter what. I think that, that they looked very shaky in the American RMRs, although they have a lot of experience, but I really doubt that they will be able to pull through. Uh, Eternal Fire, they actually might. They have the skill, they have the experience. Uh, they play at a high level. And I think that that fit for the teams that we picked here. Um, MIBR also, I really, really like the boys there. I think that they're making a fantastic job of uh, improving. And at the end of the day, they win a lot of events and qualify to a lot of events. And Vitality, obviously, the only tier one team left with Liquid here in the, in the category. I would actually, I'm gonna do that. I, I don't think Vitality is gonna go through. I really don't think that. And it's just my feeling. I think that this opposition is um, not as strong as the one that they usually play against. But I think that, I mean, I think that this, those teams, those tier two teams per se, have a better chance of beating Vitality. Um, I'm still thinking. I wanna put MIBR in. Or eternal fire i think let's see let's see the results quick you, got, you guys are doing it with me as i said eternal fire and we are yeah okay so eternal fire they beat og they beat fanatic they j 
just lost the vitality, they've been de dignitized, they lost heavily the base, they qualified. They lost the Apex, which is a good team. They lost the CPH Flames. Okay, MIBR. This has been a not so strong of a show, I'd say, but Pain had a really, really good tournament. They lost to Furia here. They beat Imperial, they beat Pain. Uh, I'm really thinking. I think there's gonna be Eternal Fire. I'm gonna still give the chance to Vitality. I think I think that MIBR are not there yet. I think that they're real. They're a really strong squad, but I I'd say uh, say Vitality. Those will be my pickums. Uh, I do strongly believe in uh, the 3-0 pick and the 0-3 pick. Although the 0-3 pick can change the spirit, so I'm really like thinking between those two. Uh, I'll show you why I think that. Uh, just look at the spirit results as of late. Um, they beat Finest in a Pinnacle Cup, K23, Blue Jays, all sub top team. Not as good teams. They beat Anonymous, which is a decent team and point a decent team. Lost to Sinners, lost to Ants, lost to Sinners. One, uh, the, uh, again, I I doubted that they will win any game here, but I think that they will beat uh, IHT or those uh, those team, uh, this team. So I will lock it in like this. This will be my picks uh, of who's gonna go through and who's gonna go all three. I'm really confident in those two. I'm confident in this one. I'm confident in the Astralis pick, and I'm confident in the BNE and the Force pick. So this will be my picks. Uh, I, I just a little segment that we're gonna do here. Just have some uh, sticker capsules. Just some sticker capsules and we're gonna just open them just have some fun here in the video just a short video a fun video uh yeah basically that's it boys that doubles my pickups and yeah it's right here and now the sticker actually didn't see any other stickers yet looks really nice this glitter looks really really nice i actually really like this design of the sticker um on this one is it different oh yeah this is a glitter sticker and this is a normal sticker okay okay that's what you involved looks pretty sick bnd if that i chose to go through i really like this one Sticker, so I, I really like the design though. Oh, and then sticker. That looks actually really good. I really like the design of the sticker. I think I will just cut for right now. I'll buy more um, more individual stickers and I will just open a tad bit more. So I'll cut right to it now. Okay, so I bought some autograph stickers now. Here, uh, I got some of my boys here, the complexity guys. Uh, I know some of the Obviously, the MIBR guys, uh, so some of the guys that, uh, that I know personally, uh, so I like to get them, obviously, but the stickers look actually pretty neat. So we're going to just open it and see the signatures of each. Oh, this one looks sick. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay. The sticker actually looks pretty good. I like the money symbol. Don't really know the 9Z team, but... They look uh, really strong. Calix. Okay, I actually really like the signature. The signature looks pretty dope. Um, very good job for, for Calix. It looks sick on, on a weapon. Walks it. I like the simplicity. I like it. I like it. I like the internal fire RNE. Looks good. Looks 
looks good. Getting some Eternal Fire uh, support right here. The Turkish power. Shocks. Th this liquid shocks is very tanky. But I kind of like it. I do kind of like it. That looks really good. Sick. Valve did some good job. This looks sick. I would have to see how it looks on a weapon. This looks actually really fucking good. Sick. Another one. Maybe some other one. Another one with a better one. Who knows? Ah. Good yakin there. Emor and other Eternal Fire. We are getting the Turkish support here. Oh, magic. But this thing is actually really black. This looks... I like the heart. I like the... Looks really good. I like this one. Spirit stickers always look the same. Oh, there you go. This... This is a whole... This is my first holo, actually, from... This looks really... The 9Z, I like the purple. I like, I'm probably put, putting it on my Deagle. This looks awesome. This actually looks awesome. And the last one, got a lot of autographs, a lot of uh, Turkish power. Fang, there you go. My complexity representative. The Canadian uh, flag hint right here. The crosser right here. Actually, a really simple and nice, uh, nice sticker. I actually really like that one. All right. Thank you all for joining this video. A pretty short one and a uh, pretty simple video right here. Um, yeah, I mean, th those are my pickems. I've said why I chose them. You did it with me, basically. Uh, that's how I would do it myself. So I said, might as well just push some content to you guys. Uh, I do have some, uh, some videos planned out uh, and there will be coming, I think, within the, the next couple of days. I have some interesting, uh, Topics as executes and pops to talk about and different things. Uh, yeah, I, I got some good content lined up for you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think of uh, of this pecans and you can tweet at me, share in the comments your uh, your picks for the challenger stage. I am going to do it in the legends uh, and the champions uh, stage, and we're going to go through it together basically. Share your picks, boys. I would really like to see it and see you guys in the next video.